Hi guys, welcome back to Microsoft Engine Training. This time we're going to work with the BitLocker. So in case if you don't have this BitLocker enable configuration with you, please download it from the description or from the cheat sheet which I have been you know, sharing within the community. So this is the configuration that we are going to work on it. So we will be working on how to enable BitLocker within this video. Step by step, demonstration will be done. The configuration uh, can be done in a two ways. One would be either you use the Microsoft Intune with respect to the profiles. So the profiles you could create from devices for Windows. Uh, configuration profile. So any configuration you want to automate, you could do it. For example, I created here BitLocker settings. Similarly, uh, you can also do the same BitLocker settings uh, from disk encryption. This is the end configuration at the end you would be you know, doing from here with respect to the BitLocker. So let's first have a look on the current policy that we created for configuration profile. So you just have to go ahead here, create Windows 10 and later and choose your template. And uh, here somewhere endpoint protection with respected and then give for example i'm just giving here bitlocker enable or test policy within this you have the disk or windows encryption so these settings you need to be configured so in our case we have already uh, configured a policy so we would be uh, editing that policy to show you the settings so let me go to the properties uh, within the configuration settings you could open up windows encryption uh, encrypt device settings are required and uh, encrypt storage card we don't need it uh, for the mobile devices and the bitlock base settings so this is where very important one would be the blocking the warnings otherwise you get a uh, warning on the end user computer and the machines will during the azure ed joining process itself it will try to encrypt and the uh, configuration for the disks let's say you have a c drive recovery drive and external drive or maybe fixed or non-fixed drives like USB all of that how do you want to encrypt so this is the configuration I have chosen you could choose uh, based on your uh, company standards but in my case uh, I thought you know this this is fine for me so I just configured these specific configurations and the uh, operating system the drive the waste drives gets you know uh, encrypted uh, so during the startup phase it needs that uh, specific configuration so additional authentication at the startup is required but bitlocker with a non-compatibility tpm chips that is if there is no tpm chip because the bitlocker entire thing will work based on the uh, tpm chip so in case if there's no tpm chip then we would uh, block it so that means it's not going to work the entire bitlocker and the uh, configuration for that compatible tpm at the, during the startup it is required and there's no uh, pin or maybe a key or a pin combination we don't want to allow meaning we are not configuring during the boot process any kind of pins or configuration okay and minimum pin length uh, we don't want to configure because we are not allowing here do not allow and the uh, os recovery yes the drive also gets encrypted and the uh, recovery password would be a 48 digit recovery password with the encryption with the recovery key to 256 bit recovery key so these are the configuration we would uh, like to do with recovery options in the bitlocker setup a block save bitlocker recovery key information and as you active directly so that from a keys you could actually retrieve the uh, key in case if you want to recover and uh, you could even uh, recover in case if you want to uh, rotate the key rotation you could do it based on your configuration i'm not configuring anything and store recovery information as your active directory before enabling bitlocker yes it is required uh, because the key once it is saved you could actually uh, run the bitlocker that way it more secure in case if something goes wrong we could use the recovery key pre-boot recovery uh, message it is enabled with the default urls and i'm not going to configure anything with log of fixed data drive settings uh, on my devices that's it that's uh, that's what the settings so you could see here these are the configuration settings that we are using so once we have these settings it's good uh, to test on your windows 10 machines Okay, but in our case, this assignment was assigned to corporate devices because we are enforcing 
the uh, data should be encrypted on corporate devices so i assigned this assignment to corporate devices and coming back to the endpoint security we do have here another policy which uh, can be created uh, called BitLocker encryption settings policy. Let me show you the settings how, or let me show you how to create this policy first. So it's very simple. Select operating system and choose the BitLocker. That's it because it's more uh, more about the disk encryption. So it's straightforward goes to the BitLocker. So create a policy, give the policy name, and then the settings will come up here. So in my case, um, uh, you could you know choose the similar options like an enable full description for operating system and whatever the settings you wanted. For example, if I choose here for fixed drives, it's going to ask for the encryption, all of that stuff which we configured already. So it it ups, it, it is completely up to you whether you want to use these settings or you want to use it from here or there. So in our case, uh, we have created this specific policy. Uh, which consists of only one setting in the configuration which is settings we are choosing them to configure uh, or enable the big locker for disk encryption for operating system and fixed drives that's it and there's no other configuration which is default not configured not configured everything was not configured uh, that's how we configured so here if I just go yeah so there's nothing not configured except one setting which is this and this uh, complete settings has been assigned for corporate devices so that's what we have done I have taken a physical machine with the help of any desk the remote and you could see here this is the working on a remote machine on any disk software which will connect to the remote machine so it's a physical machine which we connected to by using an any disk software and then let me open up my computer and show you on this pc it took you know, some time but automatically it has uh, enabled the bit locker this is how it's going to work and there's no action from the end user point of view i hope this entire uh, short lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this if you really like it please do subscribe and share and give me a support that really helps me to um, share more and more content thank you